Reefers, I'm Scott Anderson, and this 210 gallon tank has some problems with the Aquascape. It's overgrown, I think with some minor changes, we can make a big difference to how this tank looks and performs. So let's go fix it. So for those of you who are unaware of the problems I'm having, this side of my tank is completely overgrown. My clam is so big that it goes up right up next to the glass, and I can't even clean the glass because the clam's so close to it. My bubble is so big, it is stinging everything. Which isn't so bad, but I really like this big green wall hammer, and there's been some pretty good warfare going on there. These pallies, these are going. I hate to do it, but these are actually going to go in the trash. I know, feel free to leave the hate in the comments below, which is fine. But the reason is, they're ugly, but I don't just kill things because they're ugly. But these are about the most toxic pally out there. So, as much as I'd love to keep something alive, just to keep it alive, um, I need the space, and that stuff's really toxic, so let's get rid of it. And then, the Kenya tree, that's gonna go down to the frag tank. I mean, it's just not doing anybody any good right there. It's time to move the corals out that I definitely don't want and move some out just temporarily so I can make room. Now, there's a lot of guesswork going on here. I don't remember exactly how those rocks are stacked, what's on what, and kind of eyeballing size is never easy. So I start moving stuff around, I take a little bit of guesswork and see how it goes. One quick tip for gluing. Get some accelerant, get a couple tubes of glue, put a bunch of glue on there, and then just hold it. If you're fast enough with the accelerant, you tap that stuff down there, that super glue will hold strong and work well for you. Fragging inside the tank is never easy. As you can see, I break the hammer off, no big deal, I just glue it back on and start over. I've let this section of the tank sit for a couple hours and I just watched it while I was sitting on the couch and I'm just not happy with it. So we're gonna redo it. I'm gonna put this big clam right here. We're gonna readjust the bubble and then I think I have room for the big Sinulara. So let's give it a try. It's been about 24 hours since I made the initial changes and I really wanted everything to open up before I changed anything. I really wanna see how much space I have to deal with now the first thing you'll notice is the clam is absolutely massive. Look at that thing. It's getting a little bit stung and getting in the way of the hammer colonies right here. So I think we're gonna adjust those a little bit. The bubble I think still has some room to get bigger and it looks pretty good. <clears throat> the Sinulara is open, but I'd like to see it come up some more. This palithoa here is just in the way. I need to be able to put more frog spawn and stuff on this corner, so I think it's time to let this one go. The other big problem I'm having are these plate corals are shading everything below, including this rose bubble tip. Now, I don't want my rose to move because I got nothing else to do it in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up a little. So we got three plates here. I'm gonna remove the bottom two first and see how things look. My guess is that third big plate on top is also coming off. You know, hopefully it all comes off in one piece, but I can see the whole rock falling off. You know how this goes. It's been a few days, but the tank is looking really good since I made all the changes. So I'll take you through and you can see all the changes I made and how they look. This right section of the tank was the biggest, most overgrown section of the tank. Now I've given the clam more room, which he just promptly took up. You can just see how full and open this thing is. Behind him are the frog spawns and hammers in this whole euphilia garden I thinned out again. There was just too much stuff there. So I've got lots of room for growth now. It doesn't look as pretty as it did, 
I admit, but it still looks good and I got plenty of room for future growth. The bubble coral is huge. It's got tons of room to open up. The stingers don't affect the clam. It's been sitting next to it for years. It's never been a problem, so that looks really good. The Sinulara, though, is still overgrown. This thing is huge. I'm really considering just trimming this guy back. But for now, it looks beautiful where it's at, and I think trimming it will definitely be another project for another day. Overall, I would say this side of the tank is much improved. Now there's some water flow stuff going on that you may not think about. And I've got one of these eco drift pumps with the water kind of sucking up, directing up. And the reason is, is it kind of puts an upward current on that Sinulara and helps the Sinulara stand tall. That's why my Sinulara always looks so tall is I have an upward current I put on that coral. The Euphilia garden on the right side of the tank has been greatly expanded. Now I took that big pally colony out of here. One of the downsides of doing that is I have a lot of water flow in this section and you can see where the pally was kind of holding the sand in place. Well now it's kind of blown out. The other thing is by taking that pally out I've been able to put coral or Euphilia clear around this side which I think looks a lot better. And then up towards the top I had a big purple maize brain. But it was a pretty rough coral. It really, it should just be fragged up and redone. So that allowed me to have a lot of extra space for Euphelia. And it's really made this corner pop. Now you'll notice the flow on this corner. It, the flow here is really high. So I don't get the polyp extension off my Euphelia. So I might do some water change, some water flow adjustments. But for the most part, I'm really happy with this corner. The big orange Monty that was covering everything below it, after taking that out, made a huge difference. This rose bubble is getting tons of light now. The water flows right where it wants to be, so this guy should stay put for a long time and look beautiful in that section. And it's also helping everything below it, including the Euphelia garden. So everything here is also much better lit than it was. And you can visually see the difference just by looking. It's made a big difference. One thing that I forgot to film was I had a big piece of green Monty going right across here up to the Gorgonian and it was starting to overgrow the Gorgonian. So I actually took that big piece off right there. It opens up space for my acro and everything below the acro and make sure that the Gorgonian is not overgrown. While brown, I really like the look of that coral. Overall, the changes really weren't that big on this tank, but it took me over a week to make all the changes because I made the changes really slow and over time. So I took the coral out, I moved everything around, and I think the tank looks much better, and I've also got room to grow. Now, the only downside is I've got a whole bunch of extra coral to get rid of. Okay, it's not a downside. I'm just kidding. Dad, we need a bigger house and a bigger tank. Thanks for watching!